Hey everybody, Steve from CineSamples here. This is our highlight video for O, Forbes Pipe Organ, Sound Design and Effects Processing. I'm very excited to share this information about what is possible using the amazingly powerful tools that we included with this library. In our Sections and Layers highlight video, we discuss how to combine layers of recorded organ samples to build your sound. Here in this video, we'll talk about how to go even farther beyond that and explore the full potential of this library. O allows you to process and shape your organ sound with a full host of effects, which can be applied individually per section or as a master effect. We include practical mixing tools like EQ, compression, and transient shaping, as well as stomp effects for distortion, delay, reverb, and filter. We also include send effects, which give you access to chorus, flanger, phaser, and another delay and reverb unit. You can enable the effects by clicking on the button next to the name of the effect, and click on the name of the effect itself to bring up the controls for that particular module. If there are multiple choices, such as the stomp, delay, or reverb type, you can click on the name of the type selection here and choose an option from the overlay menu. For the reverb, if you choose the convolution reverb, there is another type selection knob that appears which lets you choose which impulse response is being used. We have the standard contact impulse responses as well as the IRs that we recorded in the Performing Arts Center as part of the sampling sessions. For the delay module, we have a ping pong option, which auto pans the delay repeats left and right alternating. The master switch is a toggle for whether the selected effects are controlling only the currently selected section or if the effects are being applied to everything. Using the master is a great way if you want to quickly add reverb or compress everything together for a little more cohesion. The send effects are also handled per section or as a master. Click on sends and you can bring up the selection of knobs to control the amount of send effects for each section. Turn on the send effects same way as you can with the section effects and adjust the parameters accordingly. This allows for another level of processing complexity if you want it and you can get really creative with tools like the phaser, flanger, and chorus. Manipulating the processing for the different sections individually can lead to some really interesting and fun results. You can also use this approach to help achieve a better mix and create a production-ready pipe organ sound right out of the box. Let's take a look at two examples of using these effects controls in this way. First, for a practical mix result, and then to see how we can manipulate the sound to create a warped texture. I'm going to start with a blank preset and choose a few layers in the positive and great sections. These two sections have a nice contrast. The great section tends to be rather intense. The positive section is more delicate and light. My intention here is to create a sound that blends well and allows for a nicely balanced blend of frequency. In order to achieve this, I'm going to adjust the EQ for each section individually. Let's take a listen to how it sounds out of the box right now. If I go to the great section, have it selected, and I go to the EQ, I can enable the EQ here, and I can use this to adjust the high end, bring that down a little bit, and boost the mids just slightly. Now I go over to the positive section, and I enable the EQ. Notice that the different sections have independent control. Now, for the positive section, I want to let that high end breathe a little bit, and so I'm going to turn the low frequency down a little bit so that it doesn't compete with what's going on in the great section. It 
It's a very subtle difference, but it helps to create a little bit more space for the positive section to breathe and the great section to support. Now let's do something a bit less subtle. I'm going to keep the same concept of manipulating different effects per section, and I'm going to warp the effects by playing with the stomp distortions and the send effects. Let's try running the great section through the stomp effects. Let's choose a distortion, and... Already very crunchy. Now let's take the positive section and send it through the flanger and the phaser. I have evolution happening within the sound of each section applied by the different effects processing. It's really cool the different results that you can get experimenting with different layers within sections and different effects controls per section. As I'm sure you can tell, it's very easy to get inspired simply with experimenting using these effects controls. But we didn't stop there. In our highlight video for the sections and layers, we mentioned that O allows for previously impossible combinations of layers. In our process of recording and sample editing, we discovered other ways to unlock the potential of a modern pipe organ sample library. The short notes mode is a unique sound that is not achievable on a traditional physical organ. While our product developer Santiago was editing the recordings, he realized that we could create short notes that sound like a hybrid between a plucked sound and a wind sound like the pipe organ has. Try using this texture where you would use a pizzicato string ensemble or a similar type of harp-like texture. This is great for creating pulses, bass sounds, or arpeggio textures. But why stop with only two note length options? To create a truly versatile sound design tool, we added an ADSR envelope control that lets you shape the attack, decay, sustain, and release time for the samples themselves. You can also toggle on and off the release samples from the ADSR menu. This is useful if you want to have the release samples not play upon releasing a note. For example, if you're creating a pad. Let's take a look at how we would create a pad using this ADSR control. I'm going to start by turning off the release samples, load a blank preset with a bunch of random layers, I'm going to turn up the attack, change the decay time to create some dynamic shape, lower the sustain a little bit, and turn the release up. Now I have an evolving pad-like texture created simply from combining layers and shaping it with the ADSR controls. Imagine how many more possibilities exist if we were to simply add in the same section effects or send effects that we were using before. By now I'm sure you can see how fun and exciting it is to explore the sound design capabilities of this pipe organ library. We can't wait to see how you all bring this amazingly powerful library into your compositions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up with all of our other highlight videos for O, Forbes Pipe Organ, and the many other exciting things we have coming soon.